I don't think anybody's to blame for us not qualifying. It's just how it happened. The ball didn't quite roll for us in the beginning, you know. And um, and um, like I said, I've been involved for four games and we've won three of them. And that's what's hurting because it's just so unfortunate. But that's, that's you know, things happen in life for reasons and uh, we, we accept that. We're obviously all disappointed. We accept that. And um, we're going to move forward, you know. We've got lots to look forward to. I think we've got lots of... Uh, um, things to look forward to going forward 2015 and 2018. Dean Furman is, is a wonderful player. You know, he, he plays with his heart on his sleeve. He's totally, totally committed to South Africa. You know, having not really lived here, but I know his family is out here. And uh, when he puts it, when he puts on that Bafana jersey, you can just see, you know, he goes out there and he works his socks off. He works his socks off and, and he shows the passion and the commitment that we expect from any player that plays for South Africa. Regardless of whatever the situation, you're a South African, you play for South Africa, play with that pride, play with that passion, play with that commitment. You don't always have to be the superstar, but I would say over the last over the last year, when I first brought, brought Dean into the national team, he's been one of the outstanding and, and uh, performers continuously. Tactical approach to our game today was, was fantastic in the sense that I chose to put Matlaba in today. tepo has been doing well, but I know Matlaba can keep very busy, very, very uh, overlapping very, very much, and he's got a lot of energy to get up and down that line. And Mogorosi today, did anybody see him? And we know he's a good, good player. But he, sent, he spent the whole day playing right back, you know? So uh, obviously that worked because he's a danger player. And if Kabul didn't, well, didn't have a player making those kind of overlaps, they would have had a player that can cause us problems. The whole game today, he played as a right back. And that was our plan. And of course, on the other side as well. And, and, and Ngele in the middle of the park, who also identified as a decent player, was totally out of the game, marked by, by Dean Furman and De Kachua. So the game plan today, of course, was very good. The players executed it very, very well. And, um, and, and, and these are the things that make me happy. You know, we went out there, scored four goals. I'm very happy about that. And uh, I think, as I said before, this game, I said that if we could score 50% of the goals that we create, I'll be very happy. And I think we probably did that today because we created probably eight really good chances. There was, a, there was no real clear-cut chances, but we created probably eight or nine good chances and we got four of them. So I'm happy about that. I've got a contract until 2014. I had a mandate to um, get us to the semi-finals every Cup of Nations and I didn't do that. I thought we might have been a bit unlucky to lose on penalties and to get, get to the World Cup, I couldn't have done more than what I've done to win three out of four games. So um, whatever anybody wants to do or say, they're entitled to do that. I know that um, after, the, after the African Cup of Nations, um, um, I was told by Safa that they're very, very happy uh, with the way things are going and I should continue until 2014. So the way I see things and the way things are, the, there are no mandates anymore. There are no mandates. I'm here until 2014 unless uh, something else happens and uh, that's where we are.